Okay, so what is Baldo been up to? Um, not much. I've kind of hinted that he's been canceling a lot of his streams. And it's kind of hard because I don't watch his streams. I can't say, like, oh, he canceled, like, half of them. I just see, like, when I check his thread, I just see, like, constantly a notification that, sorry, guys, I can't stream today. Something came up. And it's always like, I have a headache. I have to drive kids somewhere. Something came up. I'm going to, I got a cold. He's, like, canceling shit all the fucking time. And it, it really makes me wonder if he, like, if he gives a shit. Um... Or it's just, like, sick and pathetic. So let me read this one first. Uh, Baldur's Gate did a breakdown of uh, his familial wealth. Um, his maternal grandfather is a guy named Louis or Louis Owen, who owned over 20 million shares of something called Petrofac Limited, a uh, jersey, as in UK jersey company, um, who does uh, petroleum engineering. And this today, based on this um, this math, this flowchart, uh, equates to about $122 million. So the shares that he owned at this point. Now, he's a grandfather, so that gets divided between the children, and then that gets divided between the grandkids or it gets put into trust funds. But basically, there is no way, even with the considerable multi-million dollar donations that um, they have made over the years, that Nick Ricada has any loss conditions in life. Um, Ricada can do whatever the fuck he wants. He constantly has a trickle of income from his family. Um, and there's no way that unless he like seriously alienates his entire family by doing something really gross and really stupid, um, there's no way that he's ever going to get cut off. He doesn't have to work. He doesn't really have to try. He doesn't have to have a successful show. The fact that he did have a successful show and was independently successful for a while is actually kind of crazy, considering he really didn't have to. He had infinite free time, really, um, to go about living however he wanted. And the fact that his streams did well was just like an incident um, that was not, uh, you know, not guaranteed. But he didn't really have to, kind of like with um, Steven Crowder getting bankrolled by his wife, Ricada was bankrolled by his family, and he doesn't have to really try. So that could be one explanation of why he can still, like, smugly condescend and smuckle about, yes, um, no, really, my contracts are paying out huge. Sure, you can calculate the fact that my Rumble rants and YouTube Super Chats and views are all down. All my metrics are in the fucking shitter, um, and the people that do watch seem to just hate me. But the Rumble contract, huge. They're so desperate to have me on. Haha. Because -ha. that seems like an excuse that he can use to just mask the fact that he's not really concerned. You know, he can, he can hide behind um, invisible contracts that nobody can read with invisible numbers because the real numbers are coming in steadily from a trust fund account that he's always been able to rely on. So he's not really in any danger, even if his numbers go to zero. He can still keep calling himself the law pope and talk about butt plugs or whatever the fuck he does. So, um, the most recent development has been this. They talk about the, there has been the ceiling cap, but now there is the corner demon. One of the things that Rikeda has started doing, in addition to looking up and to the left or right, is that he now looks into the, the corner of his room. Because um, you can see that his room has space. Like This is the, the Zillow listings for the house. And you can see that his room has space in the corners for someone to sit. And we have seen... Um, and this is a map of this. That we have seen um, that he will look over and like address somebody uh, when they, he has a guest over. Uh, like when they, they came over. Um, but he recently canceled one of his streams, um, and there's something weird about it. I'll let you, let you see. Should have also downloaded this video, but I did not. So this is the intro, and then he, like, interrupts the intro and starts talking early. Democracy. 
Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Law Explaining the Interwebs. I'm your host, Nick Riccato of Riccato Law, a small law firm in central Minnesota. Uh, I have some really shit news. I'm sorry. Um, I have a very important personal issue that I have to deal with. I didn't know how to. Uh, it just came up in the last 40 minutes or so. Well, it's 11.45. It came up a little bit before 11. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I, I, if I could do this show, I would. A huge apologies to uh, my guest, Megan Fox. We will reschedule this thing as soon as possible. My big apologies to you guys. This is, uh, this is something I have to deal with. I don't, I don't have the ability to do the show tonight. I have to take care of it right away. I'm very, very fucking sorry. Um, I will see you guys as soon as possible. Monday, most likely. If I can do a weekend show, I'm going to try. My Saturday is really busy. My Sunday may have some time. So um, really fucking sorry. Uh, Fuck. See you guys soon. Peace. Peace. Notice, there were no ceiling cats in that footage. But let's take a look at where his eyes were. There's a part... Like, right here. He's look. He is looking at something. He is looking something dead in the fucking eyes. There has to be someone sitting there. Who is the corner demon? Who is sitting in that room staring him down? There's another part where he like fully turns his head. I think it's right here. I didn't know how to. Uh, yeah, it just came up in the last. This entire speech. I didn't know how to. Uh, it just came up in the last forty minutes or so. And well, then there's a part where his eyes flicker. To uh, see if I can find guess, Megan Fox. Watch his eyes. His he thing. flickers to the as corner demon possible. too. My big apologies to you guys. This is uh, this is something I have to deal with. I don't. I see don't there the that glance. Oh, I don't have the ability to do the show tonight. I have to take care of it right away. There's another very, part where his eyes just flicker. Very fucking sorry. Yeah, as he says this too. Like I, he's um he's like staring something down as he says this. Very fucking sorry. I, sorry I have to deal with this bullshit staring angrily at the shadow demon in the corner who is making me get off the stream. I'm making sure that he knows that I'm saying this and it's about him. See you guys as soon as possible. Monday, most likely. If I can do a weekend show, I'm was gonna... that the iFlick? Monday, most likely. If there. I can do a weekend, yeah, because he looks at the shadow Monday, demon, most likely. Because he 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 doesn't know in his head because he's not setting the schedule. The shadow demon in the corner is the one that's setting the schedule, and he's saying, "I think I can stream again on Monday." Looks, uh, um, uh, unconfidently towards the shadow demon to make sure that the shadow demon is nodding. Yes, yeah, so you can stream again on Monday. That's the next time you can stream. But he doesn't know. He's he's trying to remember the schedule that was just told to him by the shadow demon that, yes, it, it is it is on Monday, the, the next time you can stream. We're just doing it over the... I need to requiesce your soul for the weekend, but you'll be back in time for a Monday stream. Like that's That was explained to him at some point, but he forgot because of the holes in his brain. He doesn't remember if it was Tuesday or Monday that he can stream again. If I can do a weekend show, I'm going to try. My Saturday's really busy. My Sunday may have some time. So, um, really fucking sorry. Uh, fuck. See you guys soon. Oh, I fucking muted myself. God, I'm such an idiot. How long have I been muted? <laughs> was I muted? Was I muted as I was like scanning through the video <laughs> for the entire time? Why are you muted, Josh? What are you doing? For 15 seconds. Okay. So I said, what's going on in Minnesota? Why are the streamers turning gay? Why are the Christian couples becoming cuckold couples? Why are the why are the weeaboos getting cancer, AIDS? Well, it's what's going on in Minnesota. Um, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard to even make fun of Rikita at this point, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again. He is trying to become a stand-up comedian. He has got it. He has gotten it twisted. He, he's gotten it twisted, and he thinks that he has what it takes 
to be a funny man. And I guess he wants to be like Dick. He wants to be like an LA-based comedian. That's my only uh, like my only thought is that he wants to do stand up like Dick because he thinks that kind of lifestyle is sexy and fun and exciting and fast paced and it's not like what he had in Minnesota. So he's like he's because he doesn't care about his streams because he has no financial loss conditions in his life. He just like uses his streams instead of talking about shit people actually care about. He just uses them to like practice his stand up while like intoxicated. And fucked up on cocaine because he's come back with nosebleeds now. So people are spe speculating that he's um, doing cocaine. However, an expert alcoholic came on the Kiwi Farms to say that his theory was not that Rikeda is doing coke or bumps of coke, but he's actually an end stage liver failure because apparently you start getting nosebleeds when your liver starts failing. Or not end stage liver failure, but entering into liver failure and getting nosebleeds as a result. So those are two conflicting theories. Uh, cocaine is obviously the funnier um, answer, but if his uh, alcohol is as bad as people think it is, then he could also be entering into liver failure and having um, complications related to it. It's impossible to like Nick. Dude, I wish, I really wish that Dick Masterson never befriended a bunch of pedophiles, that Rakeda, um Fuck, what did Rikeda get mad at me about for? Because we kept talking, because he got mad over the Kiwi Farms, right? And he, like, started icing me out and shit and refusing to talk about cases that were happening because uh, the Kiwi Farms was not being kind to him and Drexel because he was becoming, like, a fucking weirdo. I, I, like, I wish Rikeda had, like, the tenacity to just deal with that instead of crying about it. I really wish so. I wish Ralph wasn't like a fucking loser, retard, fat, inbred, perhaps potentially incestuous alcoholic. I don't know. Everything I touch turns to shit. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, such is life. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the locals and uh, the, the, the wine aunts on his locals, yeah. This is sad. Like, what is a 40-year-old man needs that? And you know what's funny? This is an aside. This is not related to Rikeda. But it made me wonder, because Rikeda and Dick and Ethan Ralph and all these people I talk about are so old. Like, they're all 40-plus or touching 40s. And it made me... And, like, iDubs looks old now. All these people I talk about routinely are, like, 30-plus getting older. And it's like, I can't decide if the main, like, major entertainers are, like, older now. Because it used to be it was all young people who were, like, the like the heads of YouTube. But now it's like you have a, a huge ensemble of people who have been around for a long time and aren't just, like, kids trying to make it big on a brand new platform or get popular on a brand new platform. It's, like, aged people who have been around for a very long time and who already have success that are just still kicking. Like, Keemstar is also, like, 40-plus and shit. It makes me wonder if, like, if the, the Internet people, like, my generation of Internet people are just getting older and we're, like, embedded in entertainment. Like, I, I include myself, but, like, those people... I mean, the Kiwi Farms has been around for 10 years, too. So I'm also embedded into it. And we're just, like, embedded people that have been around. And there's not, like, a whole lot of blue ocean for younger people to become successful. Or if things are, like, bifurcated now. Or like, separated, like, oil and water. Where I'm just surrounded by people my own age and i poke fun at people who i understand better who are people my own age and then there's probably like a zoomy culture too where you have like zoomy influencers and zoomy drama that i i would never talk about because it's just like oh that's like retarded kid shit i don't give a fuck you know what i mean am i just old and i i appreciate older people going through problems that old people go through as a result of like midlife crises or is it is like are people just embedded and those are who's around to talk about is, my question is effectively is it me or is it the children who are wrong there are horrible zoomer influences 
Overrepresented because old people got there first. Bring Zoomers to the farm. You're out of touch. <laughs> out of touch. It's the kids who are wrong. It is the kids who are wrong. You know what? That's what I agree with. The people I make fun of are objectively the funniest, and all you fucking Zoomy dipshit locals, you suck. You're fucking skip. I don't give a shit about your skibbity toilet locals, okay? <laughs> I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about the kid. The kid, dude. When the fucking autists come of age, like they're like sixteen, and they're like super into Bluey, like in the wrong ways, because they're like aged spurgs. Not looking forward to that. Okay, I'm not looking forward to like that. Those people becoming popular on the internet. I'm comfortable with where I'm at right now. Okay, I don't want to talk about them. They suck. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.